So understanding stats in League of Legends is important for multiple reasons. Uh, mainly understanding your damage output in comparison to other champions' damage outputs, uh, correlated to the amount of stats they have. And also itemization uh, is really informed by uh, stats. So one of the main stats is attack damage, or AD. Uh, this is a stat that abilities scale off of, but also auto attacks scale 100% off of. So when a champion uses an auto attack, uh, the damage output is scaled directly off of a champion's attack damage. So this is very important for AD carries or other auto attack based champions, uh, as well as champions that have AD scaling abilities. Attack speed is uh, very obvious in what it does. It increases the speed of attack. So the higher your champion's attack speed, the more attacks it will use per second. Uh, the stat is capped at 2.5 attacks per second, and this is a hard cap, so you cannot possibly exceed 2.5 attacks per second. And if you do happen to build over that, which is fairly hard to do, but possible, you will be wasting stats, which is uh, very inefficient in terms of gold. And uh, if you've built that much attack speed, you're probably in trouble anyways. Critical Strike uh, gives you a chance to do double damage. So the stat is also important for auto attackers. Um, and Critical Strikes uh, start at times two damage, so you're doing 100% extra damage. Uh, and if you build an IE, which you can see pictured there, uh, it increases to 150%. Uh, IE gives you 50% extra crit damage. Uh, one exception to the uh, times two and times 2.5 is Yasuo, who uh, gets doubled crit chance, so he was reduced to uh, 1.8 and 2.3, respectively, with IE. Uh, and each percent of crit chance uh, is an effective 1% um, increase in DPS, or 1.5 if you have an IE. Uh, and note that while it is an average increase in DPS, it's not a guaranteed increase in DPS um, because you actually need the roll for the crit to proc. If uh, Critical Strike does not proc, you know, you're know you losing the damage. You don't get it on that auto, but it averages 1% uh, more DPS. Ability Power is the other main um, offensive stat in League. And it is also a ability that, or also a stat that abilities scale off of. So much like AD, um, except it's another stat. And this creates two different stats and respectively two different types of damage, which creates a lot of diversity and build pathing in the game. Uh, and usually AP will come in larger quantities than AD, uh, mostly because AP is used in casting, and AD can, allows for more sustained damage with auto attacks, so the damage is lower. And it's also adjusted by scaling in individual champions. Mana and energy are the, the main resources of the game. There are others uh, with certain champions, uh, but for the purposes of this video, mana and energy are the two um, main ones you'll find in the game. Uh, so mana can be built for. You can build regen and max mana, but energy cannot. And a lot of energy champions have ways to regen energy, um, such as Zed with the shadow. Uh, and that is the main source of regen for energy, and mana usually needs to be built for. Um, champions like Xerath have actually a mana regen similar to energy uh, passives, but that's uh, kind of an exception to the rule. Cooldown reduction, uh, pretty obvious again, it uh, reduces the time on your cooldowns. Uh, it does this by a percentage. Uh, when it comes on the item, it will have the percentage. 
And one important note here, 40% uh, is the max possible CDR. You build over this, you're losing all the stats you build over it. So it's important to keep this in mind and check your current CDR before you buy more CDR. So lifesteal and spell vamp. Um, these return a certain amount of health to the damage dealer um, upon doing damage to an enemy. And it is important to know that this is actual damage done and not damage the ability does. So this this is calculated after resist before uh, lifesteal or spell vamp occurs. Life steal applies on auto attacks and abilities that apply on hits. Um, so this would be like Ezreal's Q and his auto attack. And spell vamp applies to abilities that don't apply on hit effects, which constitutes most abilities. This would be Ezreal's E W ult, uh, as opposed to his Q and auto attack for life steal. But uh, the key distinction is whether it applies on hits or not. So how do I know what my ability scale with? Uh, it's all good and well to know what AD and AP are, but which one do I build or what do they do? So on the uh, tooltip in the game, if you roll over an ability, you will see these numbers. Uh, so here we have Poppy crushes her opponent dealing 20. 20 would be the base damage. Uh, plus 66 in orange is the attack damage. Orange is always attack damage and green is always ability power. So when you see these numbers, you know which type of ability it scales off, or which type of stat it scales off of. But there are other stats that scale. Uh, ability power and attack damage are the main ones you'll run into, but sometimes there are some champions that scale off of armor, health, and mana, although they're very few. How much does it scale? I mean, this also informs building a lot in that uh, some abilities and on some champions just don't scale that well, and they're better off building tanky or uh, not building for that ability. Um, so here we see Nair, um, and this is taken from the LoL wiki if you want to know scaling, the exact numbers. Um, we can see each... Uh, number after say the first physical damage 5 35 65 95 125 those are each level into the uh, ability that you put uh, same thing with the reduced damage and slow they each go up as you level the ability and after that we can see plus 115 uh, percent ad physical damage so that means 115 percent of your ad will be added onto those numbers depending on the rank of the ability so health, uh, very basic. Um, now that we're getting into defensive-oriented stats, uh, yeah, if you reach zero, you die. It's pretty, uh, pretty obvious how this works. Um, max health as well as regen can be bought. So uh, depending on champions and their role, you know, you can build health. So armor. Getting a little more complicated with a little bit of math here, but uh, each armor adds 1% of health to effective physical health. So essentially what this does is shields incoming physical damage. And you can calculate this by uh, taking the armor and multiplying it as a percentage to the health that your champion has. And that will give you and you'll add it to your own health, and that'll give you effective physical health. I mean, you can see the uh, equation down there. This isn't incredibly important to know as far as uh, the game is concerned, but you know, some people uh, can learn from seeing how it's calculated, so it's uh, kind of nifty. Uh, so magic resist does the same exact thing as armor, except it shields from magic damage. And if you'll notice on abilities, it will tell you it does magic damage, does attack damage, or physical damage. And these are the corresponding resists for that type of damage. Also note that uh, auto attacks do uh, physical damage. 
So armor, armor and magic penetration is the counter to armor and MR. The stat reduces the amount of damage reduced by the armor or MR, so it gives you punch through. Um, it allows a certain amount of your damage to get through the armor or MR uh, without being affected. So this is uh, very useful against tanky targets. Also important, uh, percentage penetration is applied first. So uh, you can see that this kind of has some implications towards um, hitting targets. Uh, for instance, Last Whisper deducts 35% of the target's armor first, followed by Brutalizer's reduction of 10 armor. So we can see here that the percentage is applied first, followed by the flat to the other way around. So you actually get um, more armor pen this way as if it was calculated in the opposite way. Uh, percentage armor reduction is very effective against uh, tanky targets because it does reduce the target by more uh, number-wise because it's taking a percentage of the armor or MR. Uh, on hit stats, um, various items have on hit stats. Uh, here we have Nasher's Tooth, which is an example. It applies magic damage on hit, and it actually scales with your AP. Uh, the damage is applied through auto attacks and on hit abilities. So, for instance, Ezreal's Q uh, applies on hit abilities, um, which is which has implications for building. I mean. Uh, for instance, Ezreal's Q would proc uh, Nasher's Tooth, which um, doesn't make it a good build, but uh, it does allow for different build paths on different champions. So true damage ignores all reducing and amplifying factors. Uh, it is not affected by armor. It is not affected by MR. It goes straight to your health. Um, can be negated by invulnerability, so Kale's ultimate. Um, but other than you know, frames of invulnerability, you were taking true damage, which goes straight to your health. Um, shields, uh, important to note this, counts as temporary additions to your health. So if you're ignited, it will take the shield off first and then your health, because it is an addition to your health temporarily. Movement speed is, uh, of course, how fast you move. Um, Boots increase, increases by a flat amount, while other items increase by a percentage, so you might get a 6% increase from one item, um, as opposed to flat increases by uh, boots, different sorts of boots. Movement speed is soft capped above 415 and below 220, which um, means you can't get slowed as much past a certain point, which is Oh, a good thing. And also, if you build so much movement speed, uh, you get diminishing returns, uh, which means you probably shouldn't build six zeals and moby boots and have seven items because it doesn't work. So here we have some status effects. Uh, just thought I would uh, include this graph. It's a very nifty graph. Um, found it very handy. Uh, so we have the different sorts of crowd control here. The uh, the most common ones, I would say, is uh, Airborne, um, Silence, Slow, Stun, and Suppression. Um, and it gives you the corresponding items that, or summoner spells, that can remove the uh, type of crowd control. The first one under removal you'll see there is Cleanse, followed by Quicksilver Slash, and then Mikhail's Crucible. Uh, it's important to know uh, what to build to counter different types of uh, suppression. QSS or Quicksilver Sash is one of the, probably the most common counters to things like this. Uh, very good on AD carries who need to uh, get out of a tight spot where they're being CC'd or crowd controlled. And Tenacity is a stat that can decrease incoming crowd control by a percentage. Uh, and this is fairly easy to understand, except for with slows, it doesn't actually decrease the amount you were slowed, only the time you were slowed. So instead of, uh, if you had 20% tenacity and you were slowed by 35% for 10 minutes, or 10 seconds, you'd be slowed for 35% for 8 seconds. Does not in 
does not decrease the amount you're slowed, only the time you're slowed. So uh, that's that's important to understand with tenacity. And this is often built on more tanky sorts of champions that are incurring lots of CC. Hi guys, this is my first uh, instructional video. I hope you liked it. I hope I wasn't too boring. Uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see, if you have any comments, please let me know in the, the comment section. Uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed.